Hi dear friends, from weasels to the language of birds. Did you know that in some areas around the world, people develop a weasel language? When I researched a bit about this language, the question, do birds communicate using a weasel language as some people do, came to my mind. First, let's talk about this weasel language that is actually being used in some parts of the world. It's a language that is formed by giving meaning to the sounds people make by blowing out air and making different sounds using their fingers, tongues, teeth, lips and cheeks. The fact that this language can communicate all the words in our verbal languages is very interesting. Can birds also make sounds that correspond to some objects, situations and beings in the real world? For example, can birds make the sounds that correspond to there is water here, there is no food, there is danger, there is a predator, I love you or where have you been? It's estimated that there are approximately 10,000 people speaking this language. It's mainly spoken by some people in the Turkish cities Giresun and the rural areas in Ordu and Gümüşhane. Between the dates of December 4, 2017 and December 9, 2017, in the Jeju island of South Korea, whistle language was added to the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding at the 12th meeting of the Intangled Cultural Heritage Committee. Let's compare the whistle language we briefly learned about to the language of birds. Although birds have some innate communication features that have been given to them by the Creator, they can learn some communication sounds and movements like humans learning basal language. The learning process has many forms. The most important one is imitation and trial and error. If this form occurs in a group of birds, we can call it a mother bird tongue. The chicks observe their mother and father and try to imitate the sounds they make. In time, they learn what each sound corresponds by trial and error. They learn the meaning of the sound that their father makes when in danger. They form the relationship between the sound their mother makes just before for egging for food and hunger. In a sense, they take a mother bird tango lesson. Sometimes the birds observe the sounds and actions of another bird species or animal and forms relations between these sounds and objects and events. It can be said that this is a foreign bird language lesson. Some bird species have more songs in their repertoire, while other species have fever. Some birds, like starlings, can imitate other bird songs and produce dozens of different songs. When scientists analyzed bird sound, they found out that sounds that appear to us as one may contribute different messages, just like the weasel language that people use. Parrots imitate human sounds or other sounds. At first, they do it meaninglessly, but in time, they learn that they can satisfy some of their needs by the sounds that they imitate. For example, when they get food after they say, I'm hungry, that meaningless sound becomes a sentence for meaningful communication. It's also known that parrots have special methods of communicating between themselves. They are formed of a series of sounds and movements. Most birds communicate with the sounds that they make. However, some of them sound better than others. And every bird species has special sounds to communicate different messages. They may use it to warn other birds about a danger. Some species have different sounds for different types of dangers. For example, they may make different sounds for flying predators like falcons or owls and walking predators. They also may use special sounds for finding their kids, partners or to communicate with their flock while flying. While smaller birds use tweets or chirps, 
bigger birds may use screams or clicks. By the way, male peacocks may use their beautiful feathers to attract females as well as intimidate other animals. Now let's talk about some of the research about this topic. Scientists find out that birds can learn the languages of their bird species or animals by listening to them. Research published in the Science magazine, current biologist says that birds learn the warning calls of their neighbors and flee even if they don't see the danger themselves. In a research paper signed by Potwin, Ratnayak, Radford, and Margaret, scientists talk about how they concluded that birds could learn languages. In an experiment they make on wrens, they first make the wrens listen to unfamiliar sounds that doesn't cause them to flee. Next, they start sounding the same sound in a combination with warning calls known to them like a falcon is coming. After repeating this for a while, scientists see that when they sound the unfamiliar sounds, ranks try to flee or hide. After these explanations, we conclude that there are three kinds of bird languages. The first one is their vocal language similar to the whistle language. The second one is their body language. The third is language of disposition or being the way that their physical, biological and aesthetic makeup tells us about the miracles of creation. I wish to talk more about the birds, the mysteries of their intercontinental migration, their aesthetic design based on the golden ratio and their scientific story based on their environments in upcoming videos. Dear friends, subscribe to our channel, share it with your loved ones and goodbye.